Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to our Scarsnick Crooked Moon campaign. I am Super Fiend. All right, let's see. We have a rebellion at the vaults. That's down here at Xerixil. It's right by Azag, right? Yeah, okay. That works out well. We are a we are besieged at Karakangazar. We can auto resolve that pretty much. And we got some raiding in the Black Mountains. That's up here. And at the vaults. And everything's hunky dory. Okay, let's go ahead and attack these guys. We're just gonna auto resolve this. And we'll take the replenishment on that one. Okay, the green skins are destroyed again. Not the first time that's happened in this campaign. We'll go ahead and we'll start recruiting our shaman hut here, but nothing else for now. And who's this up here? This is the Vampire Counts of the Von Karsteins. They like us. All right, we're gonna take Azag. And we'll come over here and kill this guy really quick. And I think, I think we could just pretty much use the uh, the squigs and the trolls and Azag to kill these guys off. So that's what we'll do. Should be enough to get it done, I hope. So what do we want to do? Let's gamble again. This has not gone well for us for like, oh my goodness. Every time we gamble, we come out worse for it. Okay, let's get our squigs. Let's deploy our trolls nice and thin. And then everything else. You know, we'll just set up back here in the trees. And then our chariots. We'll just put way back here. They should be out of sight. And our spiders can be seen, so we'll just change them that way. Okay. Oh, and then this unit of squigs. Put them in there, too. Okay, let's move up with the trolls. Azag, we're going to go terrorize the war machine early on. Okay. So let's get him over there. Let's get our squigs over here. And we actually, we kind of don't want to get there too fast with the trolls because we want the night goblins to attack Azag. And then the trolls and the squigs will get the rear charges. Okay, so let's just get these guys back here. Okay. In he goes. So now let's... Yes, okay, that's what we want. We want all those goblins turning their backs on everything else coming in towards Azag. We're going to go ahead and buff Azag here. And let's see. Okay, minus leadership. And then we will direct damage. Let's see, what do we get for overcast and just extended range? We'll direct damage their Lord, and that's pretty much gonna do it, okay? Easy peasy. So basically the way we won that um, was just a rear charge combined with all of their leadership lowered to nothing. We'll take the replenishment and that'll send them way over there. Now with our friend Azeg, let's see, is it better to move him into the settlement? Or to keep them out and then do some. All right, we can't do any recruitment, so I think we're better off just putting them in here. We'll get the replenishment. It's gonna take a couple turns for the for the rebellion to come over and attack us. 
Let's go ahead and get evasion so it'll be a little bit faster. And I think we want power drain. I think that's going to be better. Okay, and then the wall will come over and um, replenish as well and bolster our forces. Okay. Got to deal with these guys. And we also want to get Carrick Asgaraz, but with Varg so close with multiple stacks, I don't know if it's a good idea to go over there. So why don't we take this fella here? And we'll start underground moving this way so we can come up behind these guys when they lay siege. And then with Wurzag, I guess we'll just sit in here. He's going to be able to recruit some stuff pretty soon. Uh, trolls and, well, we don't want to get a shaman. Let's see, Grimhold. Let's get... That would be good for Warzag. Kind of want a military building, but we have to upgrade this first. So, you know, I think what we're going to do, I think we're going to build the tents. I think we'll build the tents. And not do much else over there. Okay, let's go look at this guy up here. Now, Thorgrim is up here. That's not good. Let's take our big boss and let's see if we can damage the walls down here. Should be able to. Success, okay. And what they end up looking like? 80% with four breaches, good. So now we'll take this guy and we'll attack. And I think what we'll do is I think we'll just sack it. I don't think we're going to um, loot and occupy. I want the money because I want to... Um, keep upgrading our provinces and where are the breaches okay we got breaches there and there okay so I think we're gonna deploy kind of like so with our war machines trolls will go here with the wolf riders behind nasty skulkers will all go right here this will set the uh, archers back here. And then the regular goblins. And the boss. Go right there. So we'll select everything but the war machines. Get them moving forward. Let's destroy that tower. And fire on those thunderers. Okay, so we need these guys, and nobody else can get up there. So let's see. What do we have back there? Corlers. All right. Is this guy on a squig? Is that why he's so fast? He is. Um, I'd like you to go this way, actually. All right, we got lots of units in here. Let's see. Uh, let's tie these guys up, and then we'll hit them in the rear. These guys are climbing the walls. We'll send our Squig War Boss in to deal with the, um, the Corlers over there. We'll send these guys in this way. Our archers are firing. Lots of fire there. Let's see. War Machines on them. War Machines on them. Has this guy got any good abilities? Alright, we should be able to win the fight over here. Let's see, I think we want to get these uh, long beards. And are the trolls done swinging at the doors? They are. And we'll come over here with the wolf riders. And then we'll just go into the capture point with them. Okay, so these guys are getting swarmed. These guys are getting swarmed. Uh, what do we got going on here? Let's get these guys this way. 
These guys should win the fight up there. They're steadily losing. The little war boss is doing good over there. Now let's see if we can get in here with the wolf riders. And let's see if we can get in here with these guys. And let's try and attack them if we can. Okay, and we'll get those guys on the corollers. Set the wolf riders up for a rear charge there. And the war machines are getting goofy. And as soon as these guys break, we want to run the Wolf Riders into the back. Nasty Skulkers are beating the Thunders. Alright, so we won over here. Okay, good. That's everything. That actually went pretty well. We didn't lose too many. 431, so we'll be able to sack it and then set up in a raiding stance. And if Thorgrim decides to come down this way, well, then we'll just retreat back to our territory. So we will sack for 20k. And we'll just move to here. It's going to take Thorgrim a couple turns to get down here. They got a lot of armies over here, though. This is... Okay, we got to get some recruitment with Grimgor and Skarsnik. We got to get them up there to help with that stuff. So let's take Skarsnik. Underground, move him in here. Uh, now, it would be nice if we could get a Shaman in Skarsnik's army, but we can't recruit one from here, can we? Darn it. We still got a couple turns before we can get this. Now, what about Grimgor? What can we recruit over here? Hey, let's see. All right, we want to we want to upgrade our shaman huts wherever we have them and wherever we can, right? So let's focus on that. And we also get lots of global recruitment capacity and local recruitment capacity. Now, is that just for shamans, or is that for, like, everything? I'm not certain. All right, we can only upgrade those two, and that's all the settlement upgrading I'm going to do this turn, because I want to I want to upgrade all the shamans' huts. I want to get all of them. And let's see. And War's Axe just sitting tight. Grimgore's sitting tight. Everyone's sitting tight. All right. Oh yeah, and then this guy, we can click that little button. Okay, so we got the dwarves. They didn't they didn't move towards us over on the um, eastern side of the campaign map. Okay, woo. Uh, what's his name? Kolek besieging that big town there, and Sigvald it looked like raised another one. But for the most part, still, the, the chaos and chaos-associated factions, Varg and Scaling, they're, they're just kind of meandering about up north. Okay. Raiding in the Black Mountains. Snazdra got a wah. I think we'll go ahead and we'll pay the money and get leadership for all of our forces, since it's basically a drop in the bucket. All right, here they come. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hightail it out of here. We can move farther with the underground move. Oh, are you serious? From all the way back there, he caught me. Oh no. Oh, 
we're gonna lose this whole force. Ouch. Level 18, Goblin Big Boss. Ouch. Okay, well, let's do what we can with it. Um, we got to do as much damage as we can to their Iron Breakers. They got all these um, gyrocopters and stuff. We're weakened. Oh, boy. That's just terrible. Terrible. I should have I should not have underground moved. I, I wasn't even thinking that we would get caught. Okay. I don't know. We we may be able to do it. I'm not very hopeful, but we might. You know, and actually I think the way we might be able to do it. Well, let's see. I'm going to put the war machines in front. Um, so here, here's what I'm thinking, right? If we just try to charge in and engage their melee lines, we're doomed. Okay, we're, we're never going to win. So what we'll do instead is we'll put the war machines in front and we'll let the dwarves maybe just charge into the war machines and then we'll counter charge. Um, because if I'm going to give up anything in this battle... I'd rather give up the four war machines. If we try to fight them head to head, we are not going to win. And we'll lose the whole force because it's an underground intercept. But if we let them charge the war machines and get all tangled up, and then we counter charge with all the nasty skulkers, skulkers the trolls, and all the other stuff, um, I don't know. Maybe we'll break them. Maybe, maybe that'll be good enough. I'm not hopeful, but I think that's a better payoff or, you know, we have a higher chance of success than trying to fight them head to head in the field. So I, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, they got regiments of renown. They have these stupid gyrocopters, which are going to kill our morale. Oh, boy. Okay, Iron Breakers. Stop firing. You're just wasting your ammo. Uh, let's see. Okay, these Norglums Iron Breakers. Oh, man, we got to kill those things. And they got um, Iron Drakes. You, you just watch if they get a nice uh, firing arc with the iron drakes. All the goblins immediately will run. There will be no goblins left. It'll be over quite quick. Okay, let's make a control group out of these guys. Because once they engage those war machines, we're charging in. Let's move back just a little bit. So maybe we got a little bit more momentum on the charge. Yeah, who's firing at us? Oh, they got a cannon. Okay. All right, see, so we are doing pretty good damage. The Grumbling Guard. All right, let's see. Let's let's switch two Rock Lobbers onto that. And let's switch two of them onto the Iron Breakers here. And maybe they'll hit the, um, the Iron Drakes and Belagar a little bit also. But they're starting to get kind of close to us. And we got gyrocraptors on each side. Oh boy. Let's move the trolls back. If the gyrocopters are going to start shooting at stuff, I'd rather it be the archers. Although the archers are the only thing we can use to really hurt the gyrocopters. Okay, so. I might be able to squeeze the Wolf Riders through this hole and go get their cannon. So we're going to try that. Wolf Riders are very fast. So let's see how they screw it up. Okay, so... What was that? Wow, we, we crushed those guys. Okay, um, fire on them now. Okay, there they go. Oh, boy. Yeah, look at that. Oh, my God. Did so much damage. 
Now the 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 one on the right took a lot of damage getting bit. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. Just terrible. It just did so much damage to us with that. All right. Oh, our goblins are melting. Son of a... Okay, we're going to let them uh, fiddle around back here for a little bit. All right, in we go. Okay, I really don't expect us to do so well up here. Okay, let's see. See if our wolf riders can kill the grumbling guard. I doubt it. All right, so we, we got one of the uh, gyrocopters down. So the regiment and renowned one's awfully weak. But, oh, God, look at these guys. And Belagor, Belagor could probably chew through all of our goblins all by himself, all at once. And our wolf riders are going to lose back there. How's our big boss doing? Mm, ouch. Okay, we need some upgraded armies to um, take care of the dwarves. They're coming in real strong from the north. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, okay. Let's see how we did. Uh, we killed almost half of them, which, to be honest, is pretty good. We didn't wipe out too many other units in their entirety, but, you know, it's, it's about as much as I could have hoped for. Ouch. And we lost our wonderful shiny armor. And there goes Snazdrog. Okay. Now, we're going to keep this guy over here. Um, let's just try to block them. Failure. Great. All right. We need, we need some recruitment up here. And we need to get on that right now. Okay, looks like we're going to get this guy. We're going goblins. That's not changing. We're doing goblins. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can... Why can't we recruit fanatics? Don't we have level 3? Oh, it needs to be level 4. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Okay. So let's see. We need three night goblins and we can only do three units at a time yeah. Yeah. all right let's go stick grimgore right here and what can we recruit in here versus what can we recruit in here all right let's get one two three war machines and three goblin archer. Actually, no, I want night goblin archers. There we go. And Skarsnik can't recruit anything. What we can do with Grimgore is we can run him by and we can pick up some units from Skarsnik, actually. And what can we recruit here with this guy? Nasty Skulkers. So let's get like four nasty Skulkers with him. Skarsnick will give him some nasty skulkers. We're going to let Grimgore get some units. Let's see. And we can get trolls over here. So let's do one, two, three, four units of trolls. Can we recruit up here? Do a couple orc boys. Um, we can only do global recruitment. This guy's already, already taken the slots. Okay. And then Azag, let's see. 
Well, we've already taken up the global recruitment slot, so we're just going to sit tight with Azag. We're not going to do anything. So we got Skarsnik. Okay, this guy. He can move. Let's get him... Well, let's stick him over this way, and... You know, I'm thinking Wurzag. I think we might bring Wurzag over to help with the dwarves, because um, his magic will be useful if we can get him over there. And Shady's got a skill point. Just get Watcher. Um, okay. Go back to Shady. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes when you go to give somebody a skill point, it switches to a different boss all of a sudden. It's a, some sort of glitch in the UI. And the other thing we want to do, since this is going to be Grimgore. Oh, we can upgrade this. Yeah, we want to do that. And uh, I, wanted, I wanted to wait until we're going to get this, but it's going to be five turns. Five turns. How many turns is it going to be before these guys get down here? I don't think we're going to be able to wait five turns to get this. Because I want to get a shaman in Grimgore's army, but a low-level shaman's not going to do any good. He's kind of got to be a high-level shaman. So we're going to try to wait the five turns and see if we can get it anyways. We'll see if we can. Okay, so we got two dwarf forces, very strong, moving in from the north, and it's Thorgrim and Belagar. So it's two of their stronger legendary lords. And Scaling and Varg, raising a little bit of territory up there. Okay, and now we're besieged down there, that's fine. Rebellion in the Southern Grey Mountains. So that's here, and I guess we'll add a couple units of trolls. It's going to take more than two turns for them to come in here, so we'll be able to get them. Uh, this guy's still doing global recruitment. We got recruitment there. Okay, so Grimgore's got his uh, his stuff. Let's get one more unit of Night Goblin Archers. And then... Let's get some night goblins. One, two, three, four night goblin units. Okay, Skarsnik, what are we gonna get with you? I think with Skarsnik, we're gonna get night goblins. One, two, three, four. And where did we have the, I thought it was a black crag. Oh, f five turns and then, no, 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 no. W one of these had a shaman hut that we were. I think it was black crag, we're waiting on this. Yeah, yes. All right, well, we need to get some, um, Good reinforcements from Skarsnik because the dwarves are coming in real strong down there. Let's get some chariots. Just a couple of them, and then Skarsnik will have mostly a full stack. And let's trade his his regular archers for some night goblin archers. I think I like that better. And I think we're gonna do it without magic. 
Okay, and so we're gonna get the um, the building for the Arachnorok, but until we actually um, upgrade our Goblin Tinker bench and do the research, we can't recruit the Arachnorok, which kind of kind of stinks. This stinks. Okay, let's see. Over here, the recruitment's coming slowly, and we could always just pile up with all these regiments right now. We're gonna have to. Um, okay, let's see if we can slow down Thorgrim. 51%, 40 eh. Not very good odds. They're, they're gonna be here awfully quick, so in the next turn, they'll probably be right down here, and we'll have some Night Goblins, and we're gonna have to recruit from the, um, Regiments of Renown. Okay. Uh, no underground move. And how far can Warzag move in a marching stance? So we're going to move Warzag to there. We're going to lead this battle. Um, well, we'll initiate with Grutshod. But we're going to make sure that Warzag comes on as reinforcements. And we're going to have trolls up there. Azag's looking good. Just replenishing. And this guy's got a skill point. Let's get him lightning strike. Everyone's getting lightning strike this campaign. And then let's just look at our settlements really quick. Anything worth upgrading? Obedience wouldn't be a bad choice. We can get more goblin big bosses, but we're not recruiting goblin big bosses anyway, so. Who cares? I think we want the troll and the giant den over here. Just be able to get a, a you know, these two settlements will, will form our recruitment area, I think. And not gonna spend any more money. Okay. So we're actually cycling through the turns pretty quick now. Uh, the last thing we need is war from the Wood Elves. Let's hope they uh, take their time. Although they seem to like us, this campaign. That's kind of rare and kind of odd given the discrepancy between our factions. The Crooked Moon and the Wood Elves, they don't typically get along. At least in lore. Okay, so th there was an army in here. Where did they go with it? What did they do? They moved it down here. No, that's a different faction, isn't it? Hard to say what they're doing. Okay, so as predicted... Okay, now I wonder if this guy... So does that mean the garrison's going to reinforce? I think it does. So I think this guy with some regiments of renown and the garrison, I think he could take that army. I think he could take Belagor. Anyone, any of our other um, guys in settlements have skill points? A couple of them do. Okay, let's, let's see here. One more turn for the trolls. And we did build the ditches over here, so I'm, I'm happy that I did that. I was trying to see which army this was. I, I want to make sure that we're not in danger of Varg or Scaling coming up through here. At least not for a few turns. Okay, I think we can afford to spend the 5,000 there. We got some good battles that we're going to be able to fight down here. Let's just set one up with Azag, because the episode's getting a little bit long, and then we'll come back and fight it in the next episode. Ooh. Where's his reinforcements? Okay, that's kind of weird. Okay, that's not the battle we're gonna set up. Uh, we'll just sit in an ambush stance with Azag. We'll set up this battle. And we'll fight this one when we come back in the next episode. All right, these guys are going to get crushed, but we're going to do that in the next episode. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time, and have yourself a good afternoon.